What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today's Saturday. I'm just gonna take you guys uh, around with me to show you what a typical Saturday may look like for a dad and a husband here in Wisconsin. So just running a bunch of errands today. First task, anything that doesn't fit into the recycling bin, I have to take to the junkyard. So that's gonna be the first task. Take all these cardboard boxes. Uh, we ordered a play set for Zoe. So this is the cardboard box that it came in. And then of course all the diapers and baby wipes and all these extra cardboard boxes. So I gotta take them to the junkyard. So I'm here at the uh, junkyard, just getting rid of the cardboard. The guy asked me to just throw all the cardboard here in into the compactor, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, all done. If you have any tree trimmings, logs, stumps, and things like that, brush, you can recycle here. Uh, all other junk, you're able to throw into the various uh, dumpsters, whether it's metal, uh, plastic, what have you, just regular garbage. You can throw it here. Behind us there is the landfill. So I guess that's uh, a mountain of garbage that they piled dirt and grass has grown on top. Wow, Zoe. This is new Crocs grandma bought you. Wow. Con coke, I see Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Next task for the day is to make some adjustments here to Mason's room. This is currently our guest room. We already have all of Mason's clothes and uh, some stuff in here. I still have to set up his crib. But once we get the bonus room done, we're moving this bed out and we'll set this up as Mason's nursery. Here is the problem. This is going to be right over his crib. Right now it's blowing out a lot of hot air, so I'm just going to open up the vent and there's a damper in there so I'm just going to close it off a little bit so it's not as much heat that's going to be blowing down on my newborn. Done. On to the next one. This is Zoe's room. Zoe's closet. Next thing I need to take care of is Zoe's closet. Just notice that this rod here in her closet, they never actually put anything there to support it. So I'm gonna do some measurements, go out and get something that looks like this to support the end of the rod. Since I'm heading out, I'm also gonna drop off some stuff at Goodwill for donation. We've got a whole box of old clothes. So, it's a heavy box. I'm just gonna sort out some stuff into a trash bag here. But first, lunch for energy. Some oxtail soup. Pho oxtail soup. Ah. My belly, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> thank you. I'm on my way now to Goodwill to drop off our donations. So after I go to Goodwill, I'm gonna go to Home Depot, see if I can find part needed to support the closet rod. After that, I need to go to get my oil changed and then uh, head home after that. good to be charitable and give donations, whether it's cash or your old clothes, belongings, things that you're no longer using. Uh, at Goodwill, it does give people jobs uh, to sort and go through all the donated items and they also um, stock the store, the shelves, and, uh, and sell these things back for people.
time to get an oil change. I do drive around my truck a decent amount. I drive uh, 35 miles each way to work, so 70, 70 miles around trip, seven days a week. Um, but then I'm off for a whole week. But on, on my week off, I'm running around a lot, doing things like this, running errands, picking up things, uh, throwing away trash, whatever nonsense stuff that needs to be done around the house. I take care of it, so we'll go and get the oil changed now. Oil change is done. The reason why I like these instant oil change places is because you don't gotta step out of your car. You just pull right in, they take care of you. Usually like 15 minutes, sometimes even faster than that, they're done. So I just sat in there for a couple minutes, they took care of me, I'm done out of here, so time to head home. So I just got home. The next thing I need to take care of now is uh, putting away the Christmas lights, which we've had up all winter, finally. Seems that winter is over here in Wisconsin. The sun is out today, so today will be a good day for me to take down all of the Christmas lights, put them away in storage. that time to put these away put them in storage in the basement and then come Christmas time next year time to put them all up again I'm gonna leave all the hooks up show you guys here I have the hooks up ready I'm gonna leave them and next year I'll just string the lights back up all the way around so I don't have to worry about putting these hooks up again <laughs> So I got what I needed from Home Depot. This is basically what I was looking for. This uh, end bracket right here. So um, that's gonna go right in here and that's gonna hold up the rod. So I just need to put three screws in and we'll make sure that's level and that's gonna be done. So I pre-drilled three holes here where the screws are gonna go. Next step is to put the bracket on and just screw it in. Got the three screws in. Everything's nice and even. Zoe, what do you have there, huh? Where are you going? Zoe, you trying to climb up? It's <laughs> here. We're sitting here in our little uh, reading nook. Sometimes you just take time throughout your day to enjoy with your family and loved ones and just take some time to appreciate what you have in life especially uh, when you have children they're definitely a blessing Day's not over yet, one more stop quick trip to Costco to pick up some things we brought Zoe and Grandma along let's go Alright, so that's my day. Pretty much done. Now it's just time to uh, have some dinner, relax, probably catch a movie with the wife, play with Zoe a bit, and then call it a night. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.